Well, today I will be showing you the easiest way to add nutrients to your hydroponic system. This is not the cheapest way, but it is the absolutely the easiest way to add nutrients. If you have a bunch of systems, you may want to switch to a powder nutrients since it's uh, way cheaper. Here's the stuff we'll be using. First, we start with a one gallon jug of water. I am starting with a reverse osmosis water. It's a filtered water. Then our Aragarden nutrients, our cow meg, which is this right here. Uh, Force of Nature, which is well known for being called Fawn. F O N. If you get on the, a lot of the face, Facebook groups, you hear everybody talking about this. It works extremely well. And of course, this is the Aragar nutrients, which is in this bottle. So we won't be needing this since it's. I put it in the spray pump. So I'll sit this down. And we won't be needing the cow meg since it's in this bottle. Now, if you want to save money, you can buy basically the same thing made by Greenway Biotech. It comes in a powdered form. And once this jug is empty, I just pour their powder in here. Then I fill it up with water. So instead of paying $50 for this one jug, you're paying $35. The reason it's cheaper is you don't they don't have to ship you all the water weight. So we're gonna sit this one down also, we don't need it. So these are the only three things that go in my nutrients. So we take our gallon jug. We're gonna start with the uh, air garden. I always put my finger over the lid to make sure I don't spill any. Give it a good little shake up. If you ever use air garden before, it'll really settle in the bottom. When you get to the bottom of a container, you'll have a whole bunch of dried up in the bottom of it. So anytime you use air garden, make sure you shake it up. So for this bottle here, we use two pumps. So let me, I just got done cleaning the bottle, so there's air in the, right now. So there's one, two, two pumps of air garden. And a little shake on this one also. We're adding uh, one pump of a uh, cow meg to it. And those two are done. Then I add my fawn. So uh, to add this, I have a 10 millimeter syringe. And I... Uh, Grab five millimeter, five milliliters of fawn and put it in there. And that's all you have to do to, that's all that goes in this jug. Then we'll, uh, little mixy mixy. So this is all we use. We started with air garden. We added our cow meg. Then we added our fawn. So that's all that goes in this one jug. So uh, now let's test it. Let's see. Uh, let's see how strong the nutrients are. I don't even check this anymore because it just works perfect every time. I don't even check my EC or my pH in this. But I'm going to show you what it comes comes out at because I really don't know. I just I just know it works really really well. So we're going to check the EC level which is your uh, how much nutrients is, are actually in the water and we are exactly 0.8 EC or, which about perfect for strawberries but if you wanted to uh, grow peppers in it you could probably instead of using two squirts of air garden you could add four squirts that'll get you closer up to around uh, 2.0 EC and we're uh, Looks fantastic. I never even had to do anything to it. 
Where are we at? 6.1. That's why I don't even have to check this anymore. It's like this mixture is absolutely perfect every time. So, so this mixture you'll be adding to the tank every time that you uh, fill the tank or add nutrients. You never add just straight water to, the, to your tank. With the Aragorn nutrients, since it's on the low side of uh, nutrients, it's not very strong. You'll never have to worry about killing your plants from uh, overfeeding them. Now, if you're uh, using dry nutrients, you might want to make sure you get some of uh, these gauges and learn the proper way to use them so you don't burn your plants and kill them. And just makes everything a lot easier. It takes a lot of guesswork out of it when you have proper gauges to use. Now this is just a cheap one. This is like 15 bucks. Not bad. The EC meters, PPM meters, they're pretty cheap. Now uh, for a good pH the money. Uh, this uh, gauge is probably oh, it's about $80. But the reason I like this one is if you ever drop it and break the end piece on it, you can just replace the end piece. This part here. You don't have to buy a whole new gauge for 80 bucks. You can buy, I'm not, I don't remember what it is, a new end piece for $30. So I like this gauge. It stays consistent. I barely ever have to calibrate it. The most important part is make sure you keep the end of it clean. I will be adding all these uh, things I'm using here in the description for the video so you don't have any questions uh, exactly what I'm using. And I'll probably put a couple affiliate links and discount codes in there for you also. If you have any questions, uh, post down below. Let me know. Thank you.